Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and I've noticed my voice audio has sounded a little choppy lately, and if it's sounding that way to me, then it's certainly sounding that way to y'all. So, I'm going to back up off the mic a little bit, push it back some, and try not to be so loud, because I know this is going to make me sound impossibly ancient, but fun does have an appropriate volume. Okay, Dad, let's get into it with Hero's Quest. I'm um, around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings of Might and Magic 2, and this is another 9 minute -er. Looks like there's a lot of terrain to traverse. I don't, don't think we're going to finish the Egyptian tribe today. Uh, the levels have been really long in general, not hard per se. The only new thing I see is the pole vaulter. Uh, let's see how that goes. I bet, hmm, we'll just see how this goes. Everything else I'm fairly familiar with by now, so let's get into it. So we've got... Jumpers, fencers, stompers, pole vaulters, attractors, lots of different stuff. So, let's see. We got a little... Okay, my ink... Okay, let's look at the level first. Lots of steel all around. But, okay, so we go down... Have a guy, like, hop over. Everybody is held in by this. And then stomp, stomp. You go down through here... Little holes. Nothing to fill them with, though. We don't have any fillers. So we might have to jump over those. And then all the way down and around. And. Oh, man. This is, uh. So this is pretty hairy. Come through here. You would have a ballooner go up through here. And then traverse. Jump. Jump. Lots of jumping in this one. Um, maybe get a balloon up through here, but that's a bit of a tight squeeze, maybe. This might be where you use the pole vaulter. Because I would imagine you need a pretty wide berth for pole vaulting. You get five. You could probably practice a good deal with it right here. And then up through the way, more jumping, more jumping. Get everybody through. Okay, th this might take a while, but... Okay, let's see what happens. I'm mostly concerned with down here. This could be... This could be troublesome, because we only have four bashing tasks, and I see four bashing things here. I say bashing, I mean fencing, so like... Alright, let's just kind of... Let's just kind of run with it. Maybe. I'm also kind of tempted to see if there's a way to cheese it going up top, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to be good and go... I'm going to try to be good and go the long route. I don't really expect to finish the try, and I'm not familiar enough with this game to, like, think of cheesing strategies. Someone told me you can beat Spiraling DNA with just the fan, which, the way the fan worked, that sounds pretty wild and woolly to me, so I don't know about that. So let's go ahead and, let's see, if we get near the edge of the hole here, do we bop over it? Okay, no, he gets stunned on the head, but can he jump out he would ricochet off the wall so okay yeah you can jump out of holes okay that's that's cute all right let's see if i let's see if i've got the pattern down here he should be facing right so there we go and then right once more there we go that's not too hard okay so now okay yeah this is where we gotta this may be where we use the scooper to get down because we only have two stompers so two stompers, I might want to stomp right here, actually. So this is the only guy coming around the way. I don't think anybody else is going to be coming this way. I'm going to try to make a quicker route for the folks up here. And what have we got going on then? So down in here now. All right, so... I don't see how this works out, though, really. Because if I only have four fencers... If I only have four fencers and I have to scoop, then I would almost have to go the top way somehow. Because it's a long... This is a long route with a lot of stuff that makes you think... Is there a way to cheese the top? That You know, that that's what the Lemmings... That's what the Lemmings guy in me wants to do, is cheese the top. But... I mean, I look at it, and I think... Okay, well, okay. So if I stomp, 
yeah, I just don't see it because I'm gonna get around to the end. I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop my way out of here. Where's the scooper? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop here. Doesn't really matter which way I do it. I just didn't want to run into the steel. So now, how how long am I gonna go? Yeah, you go through this. You go one, two. Well, you do it when you click right. But as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like I'm going to get suckered. Because you got to use, unless there's something I'm missing with combining tasks. Or going a different way that's a little easier. Like maybe through here. Going this way and kind of... Are there places where I can cut the route short? Maybe that's a, maybe that's an idea because once you get down here, you use all four of your fencers and you can't get them out by going like, say for example, if you get all the way up here, go through bop, 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 and maybe scoop here. I'm going to try it real quick. Let's see. Let's fade to white and okay, I'm going to try to go through. I'm going to go try to go through the steel at a point. I'm going to repeat what I'm doing. And if that doesn't work somehow, I'm going to try to cheese the top. Because I don't see getting... I don't see getting through here with the amount of... Amount of bashing and digging tools you have. And having enough to save everybody at the top. It seems like a fool's game. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's stomp our way through. And then when we get to here about where okay yeah so that's one hole I would need to jump out yeah because okay that's a problem because if you yeah because if I go here uh-huh okay you pop through here the fencer will incline just slightly upward and end up hitting the steel so yeah that's a that's kind of a problem uh, kind of a problem I say so if I go ahead and uh, all right, uh, I don't want to waste one, really. Yeah, he's going to hit up on steel. So what if I scoop a little? Can I scoop from right here, or will I hit steel there, too? Well, it made a dent. Maybe I can kind of cheese through. How many stompers do I have left from that point? Oh, wow, that steel... That steel goes low. Maybe I need to start a little earlier scooping than that. Okay, so I can't actually... I can't actually go up from there. That is a very ungenerous bit of steel. You would think you could go underneath it maybe, but... Okay, and... And bop. Okay. I'm going to try that one more time. Well, I would try it one more time if I wasn't stupid. Let's try... There we go. Okay, so... Fencing. Okay. 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 Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I needed a fencer to stop me, but... Okay, so now I can go through here. So that is cheesable. Alright, okay. So we've eliminated a lot of digging down here. So we go up through here... Okay, good. I was wondering if I was going to end up going all the way... No, that angle wouldn't have even been close to what I was thinking. Okay, so now, let's go up through... There we go, we got a nice little hop going. Okay, so pole vaulting. I've never done pole vaulting before. Part of me wants to kind of balloon up through here. That could... Pole ballooning up through here might be a little easier with the fan, but that's a narrow passage, and the balloon is awfully big. So I think I just want to play it safe and try to figure out how the pole vaulter works. So, all right, as soon as he starts running from the wall, as soon as he turns around, I'm going to see where I need to... Okay, not there. That's, that's a little... Okay, yeah, he's just falling on his face over and over again. That's a... That's an odd little... I'm kind of halfway tempted to try to balloon in there, but... I'm not great with the... Okay. Not really understanding really well how the pole vaulter works. We're, okay, maybe from the eyeball. Maybe that's a visual hint. No, he, he busts on his... He busts his whoopsie right before... Okay, so maybe... 
Okay, if I hit this, he ends up busted. If I hit the ceiling, he... Oh my gosh. Don't tell me... What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, this is rapidly deteriorating. Let's see. I thought I had something going, but... Okay, the pole vaulter is... Okay, yeah, it does need a wide berth, but... I'm gonna have to be very precise with it, and I'm gonna... I'm thinking maybe from the rivet here? Where's the best place to do this? Is there a place to do this, even? Whoa, baby! <laughs> oh, man, well, when you get it, it looks good, but... Oh, man, holy moly. Are you... Oh, thank goodness. You... I was gonna say, you sorry little so-and-so. Okay. <laughs> I think we can... Okay, I think we can make it through the level pretty well now, except for... I think I may have made a tactical error now. Now that I know how finicky the... Now that I know how finicky this is through steel, I'm thinking I may have want to saved my... My scooper for here to go diagonally. Well, no... No, I could just, I could just stomp a little, right? I have one stomper left. Okay, it should work out. I don't know. Uh, everything's a little iffy. Everything is new to me. I'm okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All you got to do is make one little hop. You can do this, my man. Here we go. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Is this what I get for believing in you? How dare you? I am disgusted, sir. Disgusted. Okay, let's try making this jump from a little farther back this time. That might make him not coincide with the corner there. Okay, good, 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 good. So now all I have to do is... Okay, what I did is I saved my scooper by using a stomper right here. And that actually made this much easier, turns out. Uh, so yes, I do feel like the... I do feel like the scooper theory bears weight. So I'm going to... I have two platformers. Very nice. So I'm going to go from right here. This may have been... Okay, I was going to say that may have been too early. But I need him to as soon as he opens up. Alright, so you go now. There you go. Okay, that's what I wanted. Now you go there and one more platform here. And we can stomp out. And that is the hero's quest. Okay, yes. So the idea is to not... Okay, don't cover the hole though. Don't cover the hole though. Although I do have one more fencer. Oh, what happened there? That was weird. Okay, well, I can still get out because I have extra fencers. But yeah, you don't want to go the whole way around is the idea. That is that is a fool's game. There we go. Some get to the exit, some don't. But in the end, everything works out for the best. So there we go. Okay, it's just figuring out the pole vaulter. That ended up being pretty cool when it worked. But man, you got to do some calculation. Let me tell you, I don't want to go doing just one level today. I don't think we're going to get through three, but doing two will put us in prime position to finish up Egyptian next time. So let's do one more. Let's do the next level. The next level is I, whatever whatever length of time this is going to take. Uh, I'm sort of not caring. I want to do at least a two level rate. Something happened in the music. That was weird. Um... Okay, anyway. Huh, music dropped out. That's odd. Wave pathway. We've got... We've got... Wow, this is a pretty simple... Okay. The thing about bombers. Okay, I do know about this. Bombers are different in Lemmings 2 than they are traditionally. Like, you think bomber, you think 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But in this game, that's called an exploder. I know that much. So a bomber is a different task altogether. But we have four and a half minutes, about half the time we normally get to do this. Uh... Is the music going to come back in? The the silence is acute, uh, I do have to say. so. But this one, there's a very specific task allotment, so it seems like... Okay, good. The music is back. Very nice. Um, so what we have to do here... Okay, we have a stacker. The stacker is probably going to be what we use to hold everybody in. So let's see. A basher. Okay, we're going to... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try stacking here. All right, I'm gonna try stacking and then jumping. I, can I can I jump? Ooh, this is okay. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something kind of nifty here. I think I I hope I can make the height. Okay, 
First lemming that falls out, I'm going to make him stack immediately. This is how I'm going to get one lemming to go forward. So, okay. Okay, yeah, nobody goes up over the thing here, so. Okay, bop, bop, bop. Okay. Okay, this is going to take some... Okay, right here. Boom. There you go. Okay, there's our one guy. Very nice. So, let's platform here. This is... Okay, I think we have a go-ahead guy. I haven't even looked at the rest of the level yet. I should probably do that. Let's see. Basher right here. Uh, do I have... I just have platformers. So... Hmm. What is... I wonder what bombing does. Is bombing going to help us in any significant way? I may need bombing to get through certain areas. Will I use one platformer across here? I dearly hope so, because if I go... Oh, hey, I've got a bit of a... Huh, okay, all right. Oh, I can stomp right here, okay. Okay, so there is a bit in the steel. That would that would make that drop really awkward unless I had a parachute or something. So, okay, let's go ahead then. Let's go ahead and uh, bash through here. Once we get close enough, we're going to cover this sort of. Oh, wow. He just kind of stopped what he was doing. There you go. It's hard to determine when platformers are just going to out and out stop what they're doing. But, okay, this one might be a kind of a shorty. I'm, I'm feeling it now. Okay, so I hope, I dearly hope, that it only takes one platformer to get across here. I'm hoping so. Oh, my gosh. Really? Really, man? Really? Really? I think it's going to take two platforms to get across this, which has me worried. I don't know what I'm going to do otherwise now. Yeah, I didn't think one platformer was going to get across that. I'm kind of tempted to see what bombing does. Let's see. Maybe if I just set a bomb at a certain place. Let's see. So, okay, this is going to be a little... Well, okay. Yeah, there's a problem right there as well. So... We may need to bomb our way through to not this big old what's its face. Okay, so I'm gonna set a bomb kind of like right here and see what happens. Does he chuck the bomb? Does he set it down? What happens? This is a bit of experimentation right here. This is kind of a thought project. Oh, okay. Well, that's certainly something. That's okay. Well then, what are we doing? What are we What are we up to then today? Because I'm not sure. Okay, if we go. All right. So, huh. All right. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that really. Okay, let's just try bashing right here. I think that's going to make a kind of impossible situation. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for us that we didn't have done before. So maybe I do have to go down and around somewhere. Let's see. How many stomp? I have six stompers. Maybe there is a place I need to go. I feel like I kind of want to get here and bomb. Bombing would make a little thing, send him up in the air, and then I could bash through to the left. But how do I get up the little way here? I've already used one jumper. Maybe my blocker trap at the beginning is all wrong although i don't think it is you would need to keep them from going off the left side of the screen you have no attractors so i'm fairly certain i've done that correctly what i have not ascertained is what else i need to be doing like maybe maybe like stomping okay all right we may do a little bit of creative work here this may still work out i've spent a little too much time thinking i think out loud but I'm going to try doing things. Okay, so I could stomp, stomp, bash, stomp, bash, stomp. S okay, stomp. Okay, he's safe in there. So as long as I go here, all right. All right, I have some maneuverability. You can get pretty flush up with the steel. I mean, pretty much all the terrain gets eliminated before anything too terribly bad happens. So, what I'm thinking, then... Hmm. This is a problem right here. Maybe I need to stomp and... Okay, maybe I need to not use a platformer right here. Okay, we're going to start over. I'm pretty sure I've been approaching this wrong. I need to look for diggable places. Diggable planets, so it were. As it were. <laughs> okay, I'm a little exhausted here, not going to lie. 
But uh, I'm probably playing video games when I should probably be sleeping. So here we go. We're going to, instead of using a platformer here, I'm going to go ahead and stomp. Okay, and then I'm going to bash underneath the steel. That may be a bit of fine work right there, but I think I've managed it. So now I have two platformers to get across there. Okay, yes. It's all about going around the steel, it would seem. Very good, very good. I think I've... I think I've worked it out. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. I'm I'm digging on this level. So now two platformers across here. That solves the two platform problem because now we can put one right here. Yeah, bomb and bash. Only problem is I kind of have to get lucky with a basher, which I don't miss those days, and it looks like we've returned to them. So all I have to do is uh, get lucky with a basher, which love love that. So. Okay, so go ahead, do that. Alright. Alright, yeah, so I gotta remember to stomp before I turn around now, so... Okay, yeah. Oh, well, it's gonna get everybody killed anyway, because I made that little oops right there. Because they're all just gonna go bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, so we platform right here. And then we bomb over here. Now, okay... Now, we could make this maybe a little easier on ourselves. No, we could not, because they're all surrounded by steel. Never mind, then. So, what we could... I was going to say, what we could do is bomb at the beginning to give ourselves a little more space to bash, but we cannot do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bomb right here. It's probably safe to get them out at this point, but I want to... Okay, I have two spare bashers that I can use in that attempt, but I'm going to make sure I have all my ducks in a row first, because I think I have the time to do so. It's not that bad a walk. Okay, that might... Okay, this might be what we need two bombs for then. Alright. Okay, does he walk back up? No, good. Okay. Boom! Pop! Okay, that's a much safer hole to bash through there. Okay, that gets them to the exit. So now I have two spares. Hopefully one goes to the right. Good, I didn't want this to last any longer than it had to. That was a... That was kind of the spot of luck that, you know, back in the DOS days, that was a real uh, quotation marks, air quotes, thing uh, that I do not miss having been spoiled by Neo Limmix. So, Wave Passage was pretty easy for what I believe was the ninth level of the tribe. Someone was saying, like, 9 and 10 tend to get really hard. But, you know, 9 was not too bad. If anything, 8 was a little harder because you had kind of a red herring to work your way around. But yeah, I really enjoyed that one, and holy moly, we've made it through nine levels literally being able to save everything that has come our way. Uh, so we have not dropped a single lemming yet in this tribe. Hopefully, wow, if we could maintain for level 10, that would be absolutely incredible. I, I mean, I thought that may have been the case for some of the tribes, but you know, you, you, you kind of expect, you know, to drop a lemming here, drop a lemming there. But uh, there we go. We are still we still have 100% of the Egyptian population with us for the final level. And after, hopefully, maybe if there's some time tomorrow, we'll go ahead and uh, finally move on to another tribe. There are other tribes in this game, after all.